Kelsey back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing y'all my braids maintenance routine ooh, 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 ooh. cuz you know if y'all got braids you know you got to keep your braids fresh and itchy free and all of that like you know you got to take care of your hair under it too you know what I'm saying if you're new to my channel hi my name is Kelsey go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video Follow me on my social medias if you haven't already to stay updated, well, to stay connected with me because like, you know, especially follow me on my Instagram because, you know, I like want to post stuff sometimes like, like soon one day I want to do a Q&A video. Like, I want y'all to ask me questions to where I can answer them in the video, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, especially follow my Instagram, okay? And without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, so. Um, I had these braids in for about a month and a half. I was going to take them down next week for, um, prom. But, since I'm out of school for three and a half weeks due to the coronavirus, I don't know if we're going to have prom anymore. Let me take this down. So, anyways, um... I shampoo my hair like every one to two weeks or however much is needed. I usually do every two weeks and I do it like every Sunday. Well, not every Sunday. Well, every other Sunday. Yeah. So, um, sometimes I'll use this. This is the No Rinse Shampoo by, um, Clean Life Products. Yeah. This is just some No Rinse Shampoo. I used to use, um conditioner and water in a spray bottle you can use that too I used to use that but now since I have this I don't use that anymore but this is what I use I just go through my scalp and I don't have to rinse and this is really good because after I use it my scalp isn't itchy anymore like after I do like my whole routine so I'm gonna show y'all how I do that good soap because like it kind of lathers and it kind of has like a bubble smell to it like if you ever blow bubbles when you were younger this is exactly what it smells like so, and so it leaves your hair fresh clean and odor free and I've been using this for like years now and it's a pretty good shampoo I don't know exactly where I got this from I think it's probably on like Amazon or you can get it from Walmart but like I'll look on Amazon and see if like I can find a link to the um shampoo. But yeah, I'll just go through, put it in my scalp, and then I just kind of like rub through like that. And as you see, like I did this section, and so I'll do like this section next. Like I'll go section by section, so like I'll make sure I don't miss the spot. And since um, I'm natural now, I definitely make sure I'm washing and moisturizing like at least every two weeks. At least every two weeks. And um, one thing about like when you're going through like rinsing through your um, scalp, like going through your scalp, make sure you don't like rub too hard because you don't want it to become like freezy freezy like I know mine kind of freezy just a little bit but like when you're going through your scalp make sure it don't <laughs> rub too hard because you don't want all that frizz because all the frizz is not cute okay now that I've done that side and then I'll go to the other side but yeah um when I do this um like washing and moisturizing all this I don't do this right before I go to bed because like I like to put my braids up 
when I'm about to go to sleep and like since my scalp is like wet from the shampoo I like to let it air dry because like I don't want to prevent like what it is like I think this is like mold you know like growing your hair so like I don't want that to happen so like I let my hair air dry before I like put it up all right so after I get done rinsing with some shampoo next is time for moisturizer what I do is um I actually go in with some oil first and then I'll go in with my actual like hair grease so let me show y'all how I do the oil so this is the Shea Moisture 100% purge making black castor oil and I got this from Ulta I think it was like seven dollars I think but yeah this is kind of hard to pump so I just put some in my hand as you can see right here and then like I just rub it together in my hands and then I just moisturize through my scalp like that because like I said like you always always want to make sure your hair is moisturized it's like you have to take care of your hair under your braids okay especially like if you want your hair to grow you gotta take care of it all right and then i'm gonna do it again to get to the back of my hair so i only do the front so i rub it in and then i'm gonna stress and like y'all probably don't know this but like if you actually like like do this to your scalp like randomly this can actually help stimulate hair growth so but yeah, Jamaican castor oil actually helps you grow your hair. And let me tell you, it actually does work. Because I remember like, sometimes when I wash my hair, after I wash my hair, I'll go through and put some oil in my scalp. And it actually does help your hair grow. So that's how I kind of like transition to natural hair so fast. But now that I recently cut my hair, it's like kind of short now. So... Now that I went through with the oil, the last thing that I do is, um, well, I have one more thing after that, but this isn't the last thing. But after that, then I'll go in with my Palmer's Olive Oil Formula, Olive Oil Grease. And you can get this from Walmart or Dollar General. I think it's like, like 79 or 80 cents, something like that. But this is some good stuff, it smells good. And olive oil actually, this is actually growth oil, so yeah, this also helps your hair grow. But like, I'll just take this. What? <sighs> but yeah, I'll just take this, I'll take a little bit, and I'll just go through my scalp. After I'm done moisturizing my hair, there's one more thing that I do to my hair and to give it that extra like, that extra like good smell to your hair. Um, I use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus on the go conditioning hair fragrance. So yeah, I got this from Target, the clearance sale, <laughs> the clearance out. And this is actually good, I like it. It's kind of like, it gives shine to your hair and it also is as a fragrance to your hair which is like pretty good so i'm gonna show y'all how i do that so like i just i just spray it on throughout my hair spray it on time towards this end you know give it a little shine yeah a little fragrance to your hair to your hair add fragrance to your hair and all of that <clears throat> Be careful not to use too much because this stuff is like, it's, it, like I said, it's just a light moisturizer kind of also. So, yeah, you only need kind of like a little bit. And yeah, especially I'll just go through my scalp, spray it on there on top, and then like rub it in as I go because it adds shine to your hair also. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, y'all, I got the floor greasy. Okay, y'all, so, um, 
yeah be careful when using this okay like it'll get your foot greasy so um that is it for my braids maintenance routine like i said it's kind of like short and quick that's all i do but yeah like you know you gotta keep those braids fresh odor free and itch free you gotta keep them clean also so yeah Give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Once again, follow me on my social medias. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And you guys, comment some video ideas that you guys would like to see. So, um, that'll be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. I ain't your man at you, no. I feel that we're good, you know?